No. Don't ruin this for me. No! Don't you dare eat the tabular, the tabby pork. Good sir! Like I said, this place, this entire area is a tar infestation. Waiting to happen. Oh, the stream video quality appears to have dropped. That's a problem. Gag strategist. Planning on streaming this game later. How I'd say this, as it stands, Slime Rancher is actually pretty good. I consider it to be one of the more relaxing games out there. I mean, sure, it has its tense moments, like, for example, every time a tar infestation happens, but a game without conflict would, would just ultimately be boring. And it's just really relaxing, really cute, really fun. It's a good game to just sit back and unwind after a long, hard day. And it's not even done. It's not even fully finished. That's what kills me about this game. It is not finished in the slightest. There's like a bunch of points where you can see like these construct these slime these signs with slimes with construction hats that seem to indicate an unfinished portion of the game that has yet to be released. So there is more to it than. than so I'd say as it stands now, it is definitely worth twenty bucks. My only complaint about it is that, um, oh shoot, what was it? Oh yeah, what the heck? Hmm. Oh, I'll bet the phosphor slime is supposed to be here. I guess I'll wait around here then. Okay, my only problem with the game as it stands would have to be the fact that it suffers from a problem that a lot of early access games suffer from. It's that you get, if you, if you sign on early enough, you... Say this. It, you never see the full bath, you only see the drops, if that makes any sense. Like, basically, as they update the game more and more, you're not going to see the really see the game as the full game. You're just going to see it as the culmination of everything that came before it, and the full release will just be another update. But, you know. A lot of early access games have that problem, so it's not a, a problem that's um, that's exclusive to Slime Rancher. And who knows? Maybe the con maybe the content that they release will be substantial enough to the point where, well, that'll be different. Anyways, I'm just gonna sit around and wait for this phosphor slime to spawn because I have this feeling it spawns right here. Yeah, like I said, it's just a really fun, little, relaxing game. It's really cute, it's really silly, and it's just plain fun. I like it. I like that we live in a world where games like this can exist and get recognition. Just silly little games about, about farming slimes. Yeah. I am really curious as to what's going to be behind this. I appreciate the compliment, man. I try my best. I just I try to be interesting, you know? I try to I try to be someone that people want to pay attention to. I don't want to be someone that just like, oh, this is a thing, this is the No. I try to take after other Let's Players in trying to be creative with how I react to things, you know. Basically I try to be interesting, like I said. I'm kinda of repeating myself there. <laughs> But, yeah. This is, I'd say... How many streams have I done previously? I... I, hmm. I don't have all my streams archived, but I'd say this is like my 10th stream. Something like... Oh, almost stepped on that pad. Did not want to go back to the base. Not yet. 10th stream, something like that. Uh, I don't know. Is there a sun in this game? Let the uh, energy recharge. Oh yeah, by the way, don't go over there. It, it, there's nothing over there right now. 
I made that mistake. I thought there was something cool over there. There might be something cool over there, but there was not. There was only disappointment and pain. And also, nearly getting stuck on, and only being able to get out of there because I had a jetpack and, whoa, okay, the hitboxes for this are weird. Seriously, is there a sun in this game? I can't tell. I mean, it looks like there is. There's definitely a light source, but there might not be a, uh, a representation of said light source. I don't know. It's hard to get high enough to tell. Let's try over here. This might, this might give me the answers I'm looking for. Uh, yep! Okay, we got that. That is serviceable, I suppose. <laughs> So while we're waiting, I guess I might as well talk about me and Slime Rancher. This is not a particularly long story, but... Basically, I discovered this game through Lumo Blaze's um, first video on it, and I thought, oh my gosh, this game looks so adorable and cute and amazing. And so I thought I'd give it a go, and I really enjoy it. It's... I mean, people might talk and they might they might talk bad about um, Slime Ranger because they'll they'll just think, oh, it's just the next new thing for YouTubers to do. Like, oh, look at the cute little thing. Like, no, this is a legitimately interesting game that has a lot of potential. Hold on, I'll be right back. I need to blow my nose. Yeah, I don't feel like this is a flavor of the month, the month type of situation. Okay. Okay, so... There's not a phosphorus slime spawning, so... I guess this is the wrong place? Or maybe they took it out? I don't know. I mean, it seems a little weird that this would just be here. Because the only other place where I found one of these is where a tabby slime was before I blew it up. Hmm. Eh, whatever. Uh, you are a briar hen? Are there any elder hens? No, there do not appear to be. You are all young and you are all young. Whoa, okay, you guys have been busy. <laughs> Let's see, oh wow, 35 while I was gone? Whoa! Good sirs! Speaking of being busy... Goodness. You guys are gonna make me a lot of money. Yeah, puddle slimes are definitely worth finding. You just get rid of all okay, seriously, I wish there was a way to get to just get rid of all the water in one go. I mean not all the water. Every If there was a way to like charge up and fire every oh, okay, okay, frame rate drops, frame rate drops. Frame rate drops! Oh goodness, this is a problem. Why am I something ha suddenly having frame rate drops? This game was running smooth as butter a minute ago. Hey, okay, hold on. Lighting, load. Uh, it's like. 
cut everything down all the way, but for some reason my mid-range computer is having trouble running it. This presents a problem. Eh, whatever. Made a lot of money off of that. Might as well feed these guys. And my viewership drops down to just me again. Oh, there we go! There we go, frame rate issue appears to have resolved itself. Cool. Alright, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna stuff all those pogo fruits in there. Oh, wait, you guys are hungry, aren't you? I should probably set up an auto-feeder for you guys. Ah, here we go. Excellent. I think it's interesting how food sources have a bit of a decay. Like, for example, hens and roostros can get old. Um, how much time this time is left? Four minutes. One, two, three. Okay. Y'all are good. You got plenty of food in your auto feeder. Slimes are just happy to be here, man. Like, man, I'm just happy to be alive. <laughs> Honey port appears to be pretty high up. Nice. That's good to hear. Oh. <laughs> All right. Let's see what's let's see what's different now. So. Boom Plort has gone up a little bit. Honey Plort has stayed the same. Puddle's gone down. Phosphor's gone up and Tappy stayed the same. Rad has gone down. But there's like none of it, so why would why would it be going down? I feel like it'd be interesting if you could accidentally oversaturate the market with certain items, making their value go down a bit. I mean. I don't know how well received that mechanic would be, but it would certainly be an interesting mechanic and a very, very true to life one. Because you know you can like damage a market by over by oversaturating it with a certain item. Like the more you have something, the less it's going to cost to get an individual piece of it. So, like, for example, the more oil there is, the lower oil prices will be. The less of it there is, the higher it will be. Because, you know, if there's less if there's less of a supply of something, it's just gonna it's just gonna plain be more valuable to get one thing of it when there's less of it. Which I think is interesting. It's like as much as I don't like to get involved in economics and stuff like that, I have to admit, some of it is very interesting. Uh, you people are the problem! You give me so much money! But you try to kill me on a regular basis! No, 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 get me out of there! No, 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 don't kill me. Uh, I guess I'll just... I'll sell this rock port and then I'll go harvest the honey ports. And quickly harvest these pogo fruits. Quite frankly. <laughs> yeah, I just. 